Hey everyone, this is Michael from Cult of Mac here, and today I'm going to show you how you can upload any file you want right to iCloud. So as of now, Apple has really tight restrictions on what you can and cannot do with iCloud. Uh, apps can use it just to transfer files and data between you know, devices and things like that, but you really can't use it as a Dropbox. And a lot of people complained about that because they liked the concept of iDisk and they like Dropbox, and you really can't do that kind of stuff with iCloud. But I found this little workaround that you can actually upload any file that you want right to iCloud. So in this case, today I'm gonna to show you both an image and a video, but you can also do this with audio and PDFs. I've tried both of those and even full directories full of files. So really any file you want will work. It's a little more in depth than if you just transfer something to Dropbox, but if you just like using iCloud, it's a really handy way that I'll show you today. And although it doesn't work with your iOS devices, you won't be able to transfer your files to them. It does work between Macs or even PCs, so it's pretty neat. So the first thing you're gonna have to do is open up a web browser, and in this case Safari, and you wanna go to iCloud.com and log in. So once you're in iCloud, you're going to click on the iWork app right here, and you might be wondering here, oh no, do I have to have keynote pages or numbers, the I iWork suite? No, you don't have to have any of that. You don't have to have it on your Mac or on your iOS device. We're just going to use it. Uh, because it's what facilitates the transport of files to iCloud. So when you go to upload a document from this iWork panel, normally it would say you can upload either iWork, Microsoft Word documents, or plain text. So this workaround takes advantage of that. So what we're going to do is do this image first. I'm going to upload this right to iCloud. So if I right click on it, I'm going to want to click compress. So now that you have this compressed file, you're going to want to rename it. And in this case, we're going to put .txt on the end, hit enter, and it's going to give us this little dialog box, and we're going to select use.txt. So now we've turned this image essentially into a zipped file and then a text document. And if you look at it, you can see that it's all just jumbled up text. It's really meaningless, and you might think you've corrupted the file, but you actually haven't. And this is where iCloud comes in. I can go back over to Safari here, and I can hit this little gear icon in the corner, hit upload document, and from there, I'm going to look on my desktop, and right there is the file. You can see it's plain text. You can hit choose, and since it identifies it as text, it will upload it right to iCloud. There it is in my documents. Now this will also show up on pages for iOS if you have it, but you won't be able to do anything with it there. If you open it, it'll give you an error. So what you can do though, is if you log in to any other computer and you go to iCloud.com, you'll be able to see this, in here, and this is where it acts like a Dropbox, because I can select this file, I can hit download and hit text, it's gonna download it, it's only gonna take a couple seconds here, and now I'll be able to go into the finder, go to, to my downloads folder, and here you can see that same file as I've just downloaded off iCloud. Now all I have to do is rename it back to what it was, so if I take off the .txt, hit use.zip, and all I have to do is unzip the file, and you can see there's my image. So it's a little bit of a workaround and it's a little bit messy, but essentially you've just used iCloud as a Dropbox and I think it works pretty neat. So to show you how you can do this with more than just images, I'm also going to show you this movie here and uh, it works pretty well as well. So once again, I just compress it and add .txt to the end and we'll upload it and I'll show you exactly how it turns out. So I hit the gear. I hit upload and I can upload my video right to iCloud. Now while this is uploading, I'll just mention that because you don't really receive any visual warnings about how much space you have left, it's easy to fill up uh, iCloud if you do it this way because you only get five gigabytes free to start with. So now we've uploaded this, I can download this too and it's going to download the movie I just uploaded. So now this is downloaded, I can go into my finder window again. I can go to my downloads folder and here we go again and I can just rename this. So this would be really nice if you just uploaded an entire directory full of files as you wouldn't have to do this for every file and it still works the same. And you can see it works. So you can see that it actually did work and I just transferred a video over iCloud. So that's how you can upload any document to iCloud and use it as a Dropbox, and I think it's really neat. So if there's anything that you'd like to see me do a how-to on, make sure to send me an email. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.